Hello everyone and welcome to this segment of our training module where we'll cover the Sentry Controller which can be found on the Trinity TI. We'll take a look at the face of the controller to understand the various indicator lights and also the numbers that cycle through the display. So here is what the face of the controller looks like. The red section that you see in the middle of the controller is the display area and around it you will see four indicator lights along the right hand edge and four lights along the bottom edge of the display area. The first indicator we are going to look at is thermostat demand. This light comes on each time the boiler receives a call for heat. In other words, whenever the terminals T and C on the terminal strip up at the top of the boiler are closed, the boiler receives a call for heat and the thermostat demand indicator light comes on. The next indicator light we are looking at is CIRC or circulator. This represents the primary circulator or the primary pump or sometimes referred to as the boiler pump. Whenever the boiler receives a call for heat, the first thing it does is energize the primary pump by sending 120 volts to the blue wire in the connection box at the top of the boiler. This blue wire should be connected to the primary pump. When the circulator indicator light is on, you know the blue wire is being energized, therefore the primary pump should be running. Next we look at the burner light, which is lit whenever the ignition system is activated. During a call for either heat or hot water, if the controller has determined the boiler water temperature is too low, it will fire the burner to heat the water and this indicator light will come on. It's important to remember that just because the boiler is receiving a call, the burner doesn't automatically come on. The burner will only light when the boiler water temperature is below the set point minus the differential. Also remember that outdoor reset may be reducing the central heating set point. We'll cover set points, differential, and outdoor reset in a few minutes when we go through the configuration menu, but for right now, if this light is on, the burner should be lit. This indicator is for the auxiliary circulator, and this represents the domestic hot water pump. Whenever the boiler receives a call for domestic hot water, it turns on the domestic pump as indicated by this light. The way it turns on the domestic pump is by energizing the purple wire found in the control box at the top of the boiler. When you see this auxiliary circulator light on, you know that in the case of a heat-only model boiler, the purple wire is energized so the domestic hot water pump should be running. In the case of a combi model, this indicator lets you know the diverter valve inside the cabinet is being activated so the boiler is flowing water across the internal plate heat exchanger. In this case, the primary pump should be running as well. The DHW temp indicator light doesn't actually indicate domestic hot water temperature, but instead indicates the presence of a domestic hot water call. This indicator is the equivalent of thermostat demand on the heating side, in that it indicates when the boiler is receiving a domestic hot water call, meaning the A and C terminals on the terminal strip at the top of the boiler are closed. When this light is on, the auxiliary circulator light that we covered previously should also be lit. The black area in the middle of the controller is the display area, and when the boiler is in regular operating mode, the display is constantly cycling through three numbers, and each number on the display corresponds to the indicator light below that is lit when the number is being displayed. The first example is displaying a number of 180, and the indicator light below that is lit is water temperature. This means the controller is measuring a water temperature at the boiler outlet of 180 degrees. This number is constantly being updated as the boiler water temperature changes. As the display is constantly cycling through three different numbers, the next number in the series is air temperature, as indicated by the light labeled air temp. This displays what the controller is currently reading as the outdoor air temperature through the outdoor sensor that comes included with every boiler. This lets you know what temperature the controller is using to calculate the central heating set point based on the current outdoor reset curve. If no outdoor sensor is connected to the boiler, the display will be blank when showing air temperature. The last number in the series is gas input value, which equates to fan speed. The higher the number, the higher the fan speed. When the boiler is at high fire, the fan will be at its highest speed, which is 240, or 195 in the case of the TI-400, which is no longer being produced. The gas input value at low fire is 48 for the 100 and the 150, 40 for the 200, and 35 for the 400. So that covers all the indicators on the face of the display. And taking the time to understand what each of these indicators means, 
may save you a lot of troubleshooting time in the future. When you fully understand what the boiler is indicating it is doing, it really helps understand where potential problems might be occurring. And that concludes this segment. On behalf of everyone at NTI, I'd like to thank you for your interest in our product, and hopefully this segment was helpful for you. Thank you.